Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So this is another Monster Spotlight video, and today I'm featuring Enocop, uh, who is a long, long time viewer of mine, and he has with him his Water Persephone as, as his rep, and she is, in my opinion, probably the strongest monster in the game. Um, she has a decent amount of attack. Her, Well, actually, this is based on his stats, but I'm pretty sure he didn't put any sort of attack on her. Um, besides a little bit from the substats. So there's only like uh, maybe like 20% extra attack. So she has like 2000 something or so attack. Um, and she has a very very high base HP pool. And also a decent amount of defense. Actually her defense isn't all, isn't all that great. But she really doesn't need anything besides a really really large HP pool. And that's all because of this skill. Um, HP Siphon. Basically, she every time she attacks, she heals everyone, like all the allies, uh, for 10% of her own max HP. So, so this is gonna be like an 8,000 heal basically every single turn. And she also has Petrify, which is which is an 80% chance to stun and also give them defense. So it's basically a CC. Um, and this is a pretty pretty hard hitting skill if she's hitting them while they're not petrified. So he has. A uh, broken set on her with um, HP, basically triple HP, all six star runes. This one has crit damage, recovery, attack. Um, this one has defense and attack, and this one has attack and crit damage. So I don't really think she like he's trying to push the crit damage. He's kind of just um, kind of just had those happen to have those stats, and also happen to have the attack stats as well. But um, yeah, she's gonna be hitting pretty pretty decently as well with with a little bit of attack, but that's that's not her main selling point. So we're here in B8 um, as usual. I basically for all these videos I go to B8 because it's a pretty it's pretty standard. Like almost anyone doesn't you don't really need a lot of strong monsters to clear it. Um, I actually didn't bring armor breaker, but as you can see, every single turn um, if I turn this to one times. She's basically healing my team for for 8,000 HP every single hit. So so you, when the when the fight goes on, uh, all my units are basically going to remain at at full HP. And she's definitely really really strong um, if you pair her up with monsters that have high defense and like slightly lower HP because her heal is scaled with her her own max HP so it's not it has nothing to do with her allies HP pool and um, she she doesn't heal for like a lot at a time but she heals per basically every single turn so every single turn she's gonna have an 8,000 heal for your team and that was her petrify just now it it does pretty decent damage I'm gonna actually pause it so we can actually see um, her damage just a little bit I'm gonna I'm not I'm not gonna manual I'm gonna auto and um, I guess since I don't have an armor breaker, I kind of forgot to bring one. It's it's it should be okay. We're gonna try to test out um, how much damage she does when she crits. So that's like four hits of three thousand. Um, with her being full tank, that is actually really really decent damage. If you compare it to a lot of my other monsters, you know it's definitely a lot stronger. Like my my well you you know my my runes are pretty bad. I mean my gems are pretty bad, and her her gems are a lot better than mine, um, obviously. But that's that's actually pretty decent damage. Being able to hit for like hit for like 1k every single turn, and also um, you know also heal your team for 8,000 HP every single turn is really really OP. So that was that was a non-crit. It was like four or five hits of like 1,000, or it was like four hits. So that was like 8k. And then it, when she crits, she does like um, she does like about about 12k or so. In, in terms of damage without armor without armor break of course um, we're gonna actually test out her damage as well with her second skill I really should have brought an armor breaker but I, I kind of forgot but it should it should be it should completely be fine I'm gonna try to charge up her SP bar and we're gonna pause it and we're gonna see how much damage she does with her second skill hmm this is going to be a little bit difficult. All right, I'm gonna try to. Yeah, I'm gonna try my best to um to, to charge up her SP bar as much as I can. 
And if I'm not able to do it, then, well, too bad. Alright, keep in mind this is on the boss. The boss has slightly higher HP than other units, but we're gonna still see how much damage um, her second skill can do without armor break. So that was 6 hits of 2000, which is, like, without crit, which is like... My math is really bad. That's like 12, 12k or so. Um, yeah, 12k. So she, w without crit, like, on the boss, she's hitting 12k on an AoE. Um, with her being full tank, you know, keep, keep keep that in mind. That is that is actually really, really nice. I think it's due to her her base, um, base attack being relatively high compared to a lot of the other monsters that she's able to do that damage but she's not kind of she's not there for the damage but um, the damage act definitely makes her really really strong for PvP because you know if you have a monster that's full tank and doesn't do anything besides that then you're not you're not really that useful you're not that threatening in, in PvP but um, since she's able to do to dish out a decent amount of damage while healing her team while providing CC that um, I think and while having a high HP pool to tank damage, I think she's definitely a really, really strong monster. And yeah, that's that's basically it. So um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this series, and I'm definitely going to be making more. If you guys want to participate, if you guys want to be featured in one one of my videos, um, definitely send me an email. I have a link or I have an email above, and I also have a link below uh, to my email. Basically, just send me anything with you know your ID, um, your in-game name, and then I can add you, and then you can, you know, you can be featured on a video. Um, I'm I'm kind of doing this to to use as a chance to like showcase everyone's monsters, kind of kind of like to to build up the community, you know. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys really like this, and I think a lot of people really do like this series. And there's people like trying to get their monsters ready to participate right now. Um, so I'll see you guys in the next video, and also um, if you if you guys really like this video, be sure to like it. Like I I'm gonna say that in the, at the end of every single one of my videos now, like like a like a proper YouTuber should. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.